We at InnoChange are very honored to be hosting this very special event here at the Monument of American Heroes in Park Kiselev. Numele meu este Alina Dumitru și mă aflu aici ca reprezentant al Fundației Inocenți. Fundația Inocenți este un ONG care sprijină copii și familii în dificultate și în situații de risc în România încă din 1990. Suntem onorați să fim gazdele acestui eveniment special aici, la Monumentul Eroilor Americani. We are gathered here at this monument in order to pay tribute to the prisoners of Second World War who were captive in Romania between 1943 and 1944. We are privileged to be joined by visitors in Bucharest from the United States of America and sincerely welcome the Association of Former Prisoners of War of Romania. Ne aflăm astăzi aici pentru a oferi un omagiu prizonierilor americani din al doilea război mondial care, a care au fost ținuți captivi în România între 1943 și 1944. Suntem onorați să fim alături de oaspeții noștri din Statele Unite ale Americii și le urăm bun venit membrilor Asociației Foștilor Prizonieri de Război din România. This year, the association celebrates the 17th anniversary of their release from captivity, whilst at the same time acknowledging the dissolution of the organization. Anul acesta, asociația celebrează 70 de ani de la eliberarea prizonierilor de război din captivitate și în același timp, anul acesta marchează din păcate și dizolvarea acestei organizații. We are also honored to welcome Chargé d'Affaires of the U.S. Embassy in Bucharest, Dean Thompson, at this event. Innocent would like to thank the U.S. Embassy staff and the Public Affairs section in particular for their organizational support. It is a wonderful measure of respect that the Embassy have shown to the veterans in honor of their service. Mr. Dean Thompson would like now to say a few words. Suntem onorați să urăm bun venit domnului Dean Thompson, atașat cu afaceri al Ambasadei Statelor Unite ale Americii în București. Fundația Inocenți ar dori să mulțumească echipei Ambasadei pentru suportul organizațional și în special secțiunii de Public Affairs pentru suportul organizațional oferit cu ocazia acestui eveniment. Este o dovadă de respect pe care ambasada a arătat-o veteranilor în onoarea serviciilor aduse de ei. Domnul Dean Thompson ar dori să spună câteva cuvinte. Please. Well, thank you very much. It's a great honor to be here today. Uh, want to thank, of course, Fundacia Innocenz for their work on this uh, event and their work in general uh, on uh, uh, helping people in, in great need. And we're, we're uh, so, so very happy to have an opportunity to be here uh, to pay homage today to some, some great heroes and some folks that uh, uh, allow, took actions that allowed our country to become what it is today. And, uh, and for us to celebrate the freedoms that we have today. I'm so very happy to uh, see friends and, and neighbors and colleagues from the United States visiting. Welcome to Romania. Uh, these treasures you've brought with you, I think, are a wonderful tribute to have uh, for this, being here for this monument, uh, recognizing this occasion, and for us to have a chance to, to remember what happened, to sort of say thank you for the great service uh, that so many of our countrymen gave uh, uh, for our freedoms and also to recognize that though that marked a, a period of conflict with Romania, it, uh, uh, today we have an incredible partnership with this country. And so while we do mark 70 years uh, from the end of, of their captivity, we also recognize this year 10 years of Romania being a key ally of the United States and NATO. And we recognize that uh, we now move forward in our relationship with a strategic partnership, which means we stand shoulder to shoulder in places like Iraq and Afghanistan, 
uh, and look forward to how we cooperate even further, not only for our national security, but for uh, law enforcement, for humanitarian issues, for economic issues, all of these areas that uh, we are going to build a much stronger relationship, I think can be traced back to the kind of relationships that we saw the people of Romania show uh, to our POWs when they were here. I was um, quite privileged uh, to come out a few months ago and visit the uh, National Petroleum Museum in Ploiesht, and while there to see a small uh, exhibit uh, tri tribute, if you will, to the POWs that had been captured with some letters uh, that they sent home talking about how well they had been treated and how the Romanian people had embraced them uh, in this particular circumstances that they found themselves in. And so it was really a wonderful tribute uh, to, to the experience uh, that they had and then the cooperation after their captivity uh, at the end of the war to get, to get them out, to get them back home, uh, those that had survived and uh, to help uh, Romania in, in its uh, transition period uh, at, at that time when, when there were so many questions about what was happening. So with that, let me just say thank you very much uh, for the opportunity to be here, to celebrate with you all today, to remember with you all today. Thank you again for bringing these treasures and coming uh, so very far to pay tribute. And we look forward to spending more time with you in the, in the coming days to hear more of the stories uh, of these real heroes. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. I would now like to introduce our guest, Mr. William Bill Gunn. POW family member and son of Colonel James Gunn, pilot and prisoner of war. Thank you. Good morning to uh, all the uh, honored guests here, the, the Romanian, my Romanian friends, the Chargé Affairs and the Embassy, and all my Amer fellow American POWs come here. It's a real honor and a privilege. This is my first visit, my wife's first visit to Romania, but this is a trip I've anticipated for many years. Uh, I have to say, uh, it may not have originated, but certainly I know Churchill had stated uh, that those that do not study history are condemned to repeat it. And nothing is more true than that statement today. Now, Romania is in the European Union and a strong partner in NATO. Uh, as the Charge of Affairs stated, and this is very, very true, but it isn't very far east from here. There's some real troubles, and we seem to go over and over again. So I think it's very important for both us in America and the Romanian people never to forget why this monument's here and what it represents. Uh, you can see, if you look around, there are pictures that all my American comrades have brought of their POW fathers and relatives that were involved in this war. And I've had the privilege of interviewing a few of them and speaking to him. And I can tell you, from their perspective, they simply did what they're, they're charged to do in the military. Uh, they didn't have the big picture at the time. But they understood how important it was. I asked my father, before he died, why he would climb in the fuselage of a Messerschmitt 109 with a, an ace, the leading ace of the Romanian Air Force, who a week prior most happily would have shot him down. And my father simply said, I had to get to Italy. And then more importantly, he said, consider it from the side of the Romanians. Uh, nothing more than my word that he would be treated fairly when he arrived in Italy. And he took me on my word. So his risk was greater than, it certainly equaled the risk that I took climbing in the fuselage. And I think that's very true. I'm very impressed by how cooperative and helpful the Romanian government was at a time when things were terribly chaotic for them after the capitulation on the 24th of August, uh, 23rd, 24th of August, 1944. And that all the key people, the King uh, Michael and Rico Georgescu, the Minister of the Interior, and also even Dr. Manu, who was the de facto leader of the people, were there trying to help the Americans get out. And uh, it is a great tragedy, I think, that the Russians were literally on the border of the airfield when the last load of Americans came out, that America couldn't do more than they did. But history is there to be studied. So I thank everybody for this. 
and it's an honor and a privilege beyond description to be here. Thank you very much. Please join us in a mom moment of silence in order to show our respect for the fallen American soldiers and veterans of the Second World War. Vă invităm să păstrăm acum un moment de reculegere în semn de respect față de soldații americani căzuți la datorie și veteranii celui de-al doilea război mondial. If we are to maintain our peace and freedom, we must always remember. Pentru ca pacea și libertatea să dăinuiască, amintirea trebuie să rămână vie. We have been fortunate enough to be introduced to the association of former POWs in Romania through a long-term friend of Innocenti in the U.S. We greatly appreciate the generosity and deep humanitarian values that the members of Prisoners of War Association have shown in supporting the Innocence Foundation. Throughout the years, the association has received generous memorial gifts from families of deceased members and have always wanted any remaining funds from families to benefit orphaned and abandoned children in Bucharest. We give our pledge that these much needed funds will be used to improve the lives of Romanian children in need. Thank you most sincerely from Fundația Innocenți. Noi am fost norocoși să-i cunoaștem pe membrii POW în România printr-un prieten vechi al Fundației Innocenți în Statele Unite. Apreciem nespus generozitatea și valorile umanitare pe care membrii acestei organizații le-au arătat prin suportul dat Fundației Innocenți. De-a lungul timpului, Asociația POW a primit numeroase daruri din partea familiilor, membrilor decedați și aceștia și-au dorit ca orice fonduri rămase să meargă spre beneficiul copiilor, orfani sau abandonați din București. Noi depunem mărturie că aceste fonduri necesare vor fi folosite pentru a îmbunătăți viețile copiilor aflate în situații de risc. Vă mulțumim foarte mult din partea Fundației Innocenți. Thank you.